the gratification of being able to see uh, from distress to um, satisfaction is, is part of the reason we do our job. Two hikers in Jessamine County are safe after they were lost for hours overnight. I was using a power saw and uh, it was, I mean, I could hear it really loud over that even and, and I felt the ground shake a little. A Corbin home is destroyed after some type of explosion knocked out the foundation. Cold air sticks around as we head into the new work week. I'll show you how cold things will be to start out Monday coming up. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT News at 6. Two hikers disappeared overnight in Jessamine County. You're watching WKYT on the CW Lexington. I'm Kristen Kennedy. Crews battled chilly temperatures this morning while searching for the two. And after many hours, rescuers finally found them. WKYT's Sean Moody is in Jessamine County with our top story at 6. It got pretty chilly out here last night. That was a big concern while rescuers spent hours trying to find these two hikers. Family members called in emergency crews after the two hikers failed to return by dark like they said they would. Emergency Management Director Johnny Adams said they started their search around 10:30 last night along the Kentucky River near Wilmore. Uh, there's about a 13-mile search grid that we had to narrow down. The search dragged on for hours, and the rescuers were worried about the weather, especially since those hikers had planned to canoe on the river as well. Well, last night we had brutally cool temperatures, um, and on the water, that's that's even worse. It's magnified with the fog, the moisture. They called for help from the Lexington police helicopter that has a thermal camera to see body heat. That led them to two campers who said they had seen the hikers. Finally, around 3.30 this morning, people on the search boat heard something. The hikers had heard the boat motor coming up and were able to call out for help. They had hunkered down underneath the canoe to, to seek shelter is why the helicopter did not see them. The two were suffering from hypothermia, but otherwise okay. Uh, were not clothed properly. They were in a limited um, attire and were able to, uh, uh, they had gotten wet throughout the day in the course of their journey. Adam said that happy ending made everything worth it. The, the gratification of being able to see uh, from distress to um, satisfaction is, is part of the reason we do our job. In Jessamine County, Sean Moody, WKYT. Adam said the missing hikers didn't have a cell phone with them. A southern Kentucky man has to find a new place to live. His home exploded this weekend. The house on 11th Street in Corbin blew up around 7 last night. The blast knocked the home off its foundation. Firefighters had to rescue the homeowner. His neighbors told WKYT's Hillary Thornton they felt the ground shake. People living here on 11th Street in Corbin say the explosion that destroyed this home behind me was so forceful it shook their entire block. I just heard the explosion and I walked around and looked and uh, there was some smoke coming from the ceiling and I noticed the blocks had been blown 10 yards probably. Brandon Gooden says he was standing outside behind his home when something at his neighbor's house blew. I had a, I was using a power saw and uh, it was, I mean, I could hear it really loud over that even. And, and I felt the ground shake a little, and yeah, it was, a, it was a big explosion. He says he then ran over to check on his neighbor who was inside when the home got knocked off of its foundation. Some burns on his shoulder and his top of his hair got burnt off and his chest hairs and stuff was burnt. Gooden says thankfully his neighbor is going to be okay. The Corbin Fire Department and police are investigating what caused all of this, but officials say they have ruled out any type of foul play. And this home obviously no longer livable, but the owner's neighbors tell us that he does plan to rebuild. In Corbin, Hillary Thornton, WKYT. Firefighters say the gas company checked outside lines. They didn't find any leaks. They have not been able to get inside the home yet to check for leaks there. We got our first freeze overnight. Expect this morning's chilly temperatures to make a comeback tomorrow morning, too. WKYT's Mike Linden is tracking some cold mornings, but overall some good-looking days ahead. That's right, Kristen. I, right now, looking at temperatures, this is just an indicator and kind of a sneak peek of what we can expect here in the next few afternoons. Cooler than normal, but still rather nice. The mid-50s here in most spots in the Commonwealth. A little bit warmer than where we were 
at this point yesterday. So we are trending back in the right direction. Now, not as widespread as where we were yesterday, but we are dealing with yet another freeze warning for any of the counties here colored in blue. That includes Pulaski County, Laurel County, Breffitt, pushing eastward along I-64 and along the Mountain Parkway. That will be until Monday at 9 a.m. But coming up, the focus of the forecast the improvement to our temperatures. So once we get past tomorrow morning, it looks like we'll be all but done with freeze warnings and with overnight lows in the 30s. And as to the reason why, well, I'll show you coming up in about 10 minutes. Kristen? Mike, a family had to cancel the funeral of a shooting victim in Louisville after someone fired shots during the visitation. The funeral director at Williams Funeral Home put the building on lockdown. Police say two people were fighting over a gun when shots went off. No one was injured. Officers say the family took the victim's body directly to the cemetery. Tonight, firefighters in Anderson County think a water heater may have sparked a fire that damaged a home. The, crew, the fire crews say started in the utility room of a house on Greenbrier Road. They were able to contain the flames to that one room. They do say the basement and stairwell area have some fire damage. Right now, investigators believe the fire started right behind the water heater. Firefighters credit working smoke detectors for helping the family get out fast and safely. Deputies in Laurel County are looking for a driver involved in a hit and run. The Laurel County Sheriff's Office says a 37 year old man was pushing his bike beside the road when a car hit him. The bicyclist, we're told, fell into a ditch. Crews rushed him to the hospital. Deputies say a driver was in a champagne colored Buick. Also in Laurel County, two people are in jail tonight after deputies say they broke into a home. They believe Kelly Coulter and Randall Carnes broke into a house on Chase Lane and then went to a service station in Corbin. Deputies originally started following them because they noticed a stolen license plate decal on their car. They also found several items taken from the home inside the car. Both told deputies they used to live at the house and that the items belonged to them. Deputies charged both with burglary and theft of a motor vehicle registration plate. A Western Kentucky family who lost their son is helping people who need transplants. 15 year old Joseph Asher died in August. His parents decided to donate his organs to help save other people's lives. They recently got a letter from Tennessee Donor Services saying their son's heart went to a 42 year old man, his liver to a 54 year old woman. A 52 year old woman received his left kidney and his right kidney went to a 38 year old man. The Paducah Sun reports the Ashers are finding comfort in their time of grief, knowing that their son lives on in those individuals. Tomorrow, Eastern Kentucky University leaders plan to discuss security on campus. President Michael Benson will give an update on security issues during the Eastern Kentucky University Board of Regents meeting. This comes after someone left a threatening message on a bathroom wall on campus nearly two weeks ago. So far, police haven't arrested anyone in that case. If you haven't gotten your flu shot this season, you can get one in Lexington for free. Thursday, October 22nd, the Bay County Health Department will have a clinic at Consolidated Baptist Church's Andrews Center on Russell Cave Road. People can stop by from 4 to 7 for a free flu shot. Health department leaders are encouraging individuals to sign up online before arriving. We have a traffic alert to pass along to you tonight. Road crews are closing several ramps in Lexington through tomorrow night. The on ramp from southbound Richmond Road to the inner loop of New Circle Road is closed through 8 tonight. And the on ramp of exit 108 eastbound Manowar Boulevard to northbound Interstate 75 will close from 4 a.m. to 8 p.m. tomorrow. Families in Frankfurt paid tribute to veterans today during a flag dedication ceremony. Kentucky Secretary of State Allison Lundergan Grimes, Commissioner Heather French Henry, and country music artist Lee Greenwood dedicated a giant American flag and a Christian flag to a site right off of Interstate 64. It means everything to me. I know every day that I owe my freedoms to God and America's veterans. I tell my children, Chamberlain and Chandler, people have died so that I have the freedom to fly those flags. And I'm very thankful. Following the dedication ceremony, Greenwood performed a free concert for veterans and their families.